issue so if you see the this particular solid ball of density rho its weight will act so let's write rho vg then bind force four rho vg the density is four rho no so write it like this four rho vg v is a volume total it is immersed no then pseudo force pseudo force how much should be m into a so what is the mass rho v into a then uh, effective bind force so that should also act four rho v a i think this will be really very very important so what is important sir why you are writing this one see how the effective bind force will act will be that so, so we do write like this no the effective bind force is equal to density of the liquid four rho volume immersed g effective so what can be g effective root of g square plus a square i think same thing i do here no when you take resultant of these two what do you get it should be equal to this much only fine so just to make problem little bit very simple no the approach will be it is being done like this huh? so therefore what is the resultant force that will be acting on the solid ball 3 rho vg 3 rho va so then then it will act in this direction we don't know how much a in g but all to either what is the condition that was given simultaneously so then for the ball to eat top of container <coughs> at end q for the ball to eat top of the container at end q uh, what should be the basic idea now so how the level of uh, liquid will align so it should directly eat the point q so i, I released it a and it should eat the end q okay these are the diagrams what we can have so you have to just analyze once huh? Not, nothing big just just you have to analyze once okay call this is alpha so we know some conditions l by 2 uh, i and this is how much l will i agree from the geometry so we are very sure about alpha no so what is tan alpha tan alpha is l by 2 by l no what shall i to get the tan alpha how the level of liquid the level of liquid how it will be <coughs> how the liquid level say there is no other way you have to fight with the concept here something i'll put like this here so the ball is here the resultant force should act the resultant force what happens should be directed then only possible no then only it can go and it a uh, it can go and it q that everything is liquid no? so i think uh, still some of you are asking sir what is that dotted line how uh, why the liquid level should change like this i think this is what accelerating fluids you know this what happens in accelerating fluids fine okay no 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 what to do after this uh, till here okay fine how the resultant force any property of resultant force the resultant force should be such that it should be directed perpendicular to the free surface this is the one property of liquid no so therefore i think something uh, i to show it perpendicular huh? Just wait. I I think I do. I'll adjust the diagram. It should be perpendicular to this one.
Uh, the concept is very important. One one problem, uh, only one problem. Somehow you have to understand. Only one problem. Uh, okay, no. You can see no things are. Okay, there's a free surface. The free surface should align itself in this direction. How many of you have patience to draw diagrams? Uh, really, honestly, you, you ask yourself. Not not color, huh? really the, even books also, they don't show. But how many of you really have a patience to draw this diagram is a question mark. The resultant force should act here and this should be the 90 degrees. Now, now you answer everything. This is alpha and we know this should be the theta. This should be the theta. So, and this is accelerating. And we have one like a tan theta equal to A by G, no? Any relation between alpha and theta? 90 degrees. Theta shall I write? Tan of 90 minus alpha. Tan 90 minus alpha, anybody? Tan 90 minus alpha. Cot alpha. Mm. Okay, fine. Mm. Now, cot alpha equal to A by G. So, therefore, tan alpha is what? G by A. Do we have? Shall we equate? 1, 2. So, equating, therefore, equating 1 and 2. G by A. 1 by 2 equal to g by a, a equal to 2g. Okay, this will be our answer. Huh? Got it? So, this is the method. So, what is the basic idea? The net force. Huh? This this you can call the resultant force. So, what you should call the resultant total. total. Due to bind force, due to weight, the resultant force. And it will be, and this is a free surface. Hmm? Every problem you are supposed to analyze like this. This is a method. This won't that Q. Hmm. Okay, now option B, what I got? Ball is the top of container at NQ after a time. After what time it will eat? Actually, it is, I think, uh, fully filled up. Hmm? This is actually fully filled up to make you understand. I just shown here the inclination. It's a fully filled up. The resultant, resultant, I don't know. Please, please look at rho v. Rho v is what mg? No, rho v is what mg? mg is what I'm, I'm taking still. mg and here by and force. This again bind force due to acceleration. This is pseudo force. Rho V is what M no? Mg is acting here. Okay, fine. Look at this. Rho V is what M. Uh, the, the actually liquid is present everywhere. To make you understand, I just brought it. Huh? Because uh, that, that free surface inclination is needed, no? So to explain that idea, I just brought a thing like this. Actually, you are not supposed to draw this diagram. Does not need because it is fully filled up. So that tan theta, what happened? We can think in this way. And our ball its top of container at NQ after a time. After what time it will eat it? I think we know the distance. We know the distance. So what is the distance here? Uh, AQ should be equal to. Now what is the effective acceleration to reach there? Uh, we know acceleration is this much, no? What is the effective acceleration?
you can just take help of this particular thing. No? So what is the resultant? So how much of height it has to ascend? H is equal to H is equal to Ay t square by two. What is H? L by two. What is acceleration along y-axis? Acceleration along y-axis should be four rho vg minus rho vg by m t square by two. So how much will get it? What is m? M is rho v. So solving this will end up with equation l by two is equal to three g by two two n way gets eliminated t square so t is equal to how much l by three g now what is this this acceleration along y axis acceleration along x axis also you can calculate what is acceleration along x axis four rho v a minus rho v a this one so this is the bayan force acting along x axis there is a bayan force acting along y axis this is a pseudo force this is a weight i'll i'll explain so so some this is what fb along x axis this is what fb along y axis this is pseudo force 